about the pressure Adam's parents are putting on him. No wonder he cracked. I just can't believe he's this messed up about his grades. I mean, they're better than mine, and mine are pretty good. It's not about his GPA, Joss. He feels shame. For what? For letting his parents down. He wants them to be proud of him. But he acts like he can't stand them. Just the opposite. Adam loves his parents, and he feels like a failure because he can't live up to their expectations. Was that how it was for you? Uh, not exactly. If there was any part of me that wanted to please my parents, it got burned out of me pretty early. I only found peace with my family when I walked away. Just hope Adam doesn't have to make the same choice. He really needs help, doesn't he? He's gonna need a good friend. And that is what you've been. Let's go see how he's doing. I'm sorry, I'm so punchy. I just really want to get out of here. I'll bet. Well, let's have the attendant check you out first, okay? You're up! How are you feeling? Are you the attending? I'm Dr. Robinson. I'm a co-chief of staff here. Wow. Okay, then you could definitely sign me up. Wait, when can I leave? I'll check on the attending. Uh, or I'll see if Dr. Collins is available. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm really sorry, but last night was just a complete, huge misunderstanding. I'm sorry if I caused a lot of trouble, but my friend Dawson, she just overreacted. So if you could sign me out, that'd be great. You know, I happen to know Jocelyn Jacks, and she doesn't overreact that much. And neither does the staff here at the hospital. I think it's pretty clear what happened here. And either way, you're going to need to be evaluated by a psychiatrist before you can be discharged as hospital policy. Uh, Dr. Robinson, I, are you Trina's one? I am. She told me a lot about you. Well, you're friends with Trina, so I have to take especially good care of you, right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So let me out. If after your evaluation, we all agree that what happened last night was just an unfortunate accident, then you can be discharged. And if not, then we're just going to have to take the next steps. Next steps? What does that even mean? Or like you're going to keep me or something? Do I have rights? What if I don't consent to it? No, 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 no. Of course you have rights. Absolutely you do. But some of those rights are determined by your diagnosis. So listen, we want the absolute best outcome for you. And if it's determined that you are a threat to yourself or to anyone else, then we can't let you leave. It's hospital policy, standard practice. Now, the on-call psychiatric attending, he should be here soon, and your parents... No, 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 they, they can't. No. Okay. Please. Okay, calm please, down. It's don't, right. no. Please don't tell him. Nicholas took 